What is up, guys? Welcome to the show. It is Toaster Tuesday. We're gonna wrench on the box. And I got some cool new headlight bulbs in the mail. Did I go HID? Did I go LED? Did I go Sylvania OEM replacements? I don't know, man. Could have done anything here. All right, so inside, as you can tell by the tape, we got this sucker from Amazon. And what do we get? What do we get? Let's get in here. Innovative. I've already ripped into this one, as you guys can tell, to make sure it is what I wanted. And it is HID. That's right. We went with the HID over the LED. Why did we go HID? Well, I'm kind of sucker for nostalgia. You guys know I had an XB back in the day. Uh-oh, little bolts, little nuts falling out. <laughs> you guys know I had an XB back in the day, and I did have an HID kit on the XB, and I honestly really, really liked it. And what I like most about HID is I get to pick the color. So, you know, it's an XB. We got to make it a little bit of a ricer rod. So, uh, yeah, I decided to go with the 6000K unit, which is... A little blue, not not real blue, but a little blue as I'm trying to unpack the ballast here with one hand. Um, but yeah, it's going to have a little bit of a blue tint to it and should be super cool, man. I'm excited to get this thing fired up. So it looks like this is for the fog lights, I believe. It looks like this is for the fog lights, I believe. The fog lights are 9,005 size and the headlights are nine the headlights are h4 so yeah this is what you're going to get inside each kit you're going to get a light kit um these are the actual lamps and then you're going to get your ballast it's a little confusing on how to hook it all up but it really isn't too bad so let me see if i can get all this stuff unpacked and lay it out for you guys so it's nice and neat and easy to follow all right so i have laid out before you the headlight kit so this is for H4 front headlights, which is what we have in our box. And believe it or not, this does look like a ton of stuff, but it's pretty straightforward. It can only be plugged in one way. So not that difficult, and it comes with really, really good directions, man. I mean, I'm really impressed with the directions here. So uh, yeah, so we got ourselves a main relay right there. And you see you got one long wire that's gonna make its way over to you know the driver's side or whatever, however you have this kind of setup. Um, and the way it's going to work is we have our ballast, okay, ballast will get plugged in there. We're going to go ahead and find a grounding spot for this guy. And then the other end of the ballast is going to plug into the actual bulb. And then this piece is going to connect right there. So that'll be the driver's side. And there's also a mount to mount the ballast somewhere in the engine bay. And then on the passenger side, it's pretty much going to be the exact same thing with one slight difference, and that is this guy here. This is going to plug into the factory, um, the factory harness um, that would normally plug into the back of a bulb. At least that's what I think we're going to do with this. That certainly is what it looks like to me. So, um, yeah, we got more grounding points. We've got an inline fuse, which is nice. Another grounding point. But uh, I know this looks kind of like, oh my god, all this stuff for an HID kit? But this is a very good kit, hence all the wiring, hence all the grounds. Um, and this will give us long life to our ballast and to our bulbs. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this bulb out of the water that's on the ground. Uh, <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and install the bulbs. And they're going to install just like any bulb would install in the engine bay. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood and get those guys mounted. So before we start installing this kit, I want to go ahead and give you a taste of what the light output and the color of the headlights used to be with the regular setup that I had going on, which was no name bulbs in the fog lights and some sort of bulbs in the, <laughs> in the, in the headlights that I can't remember installed so long ago. We'll uninstall them, find out what they are, but take a look at this and then we'll get back to the install. All right guys, it's 8.30 at night. I know it's not super pitch black out, but I'm filming this with a GoPro and if it's super pitch black out, you're not going to see anything besides just a black background and some headlights. So I want to give you an idea of what the color looks like right now, kind of what the car looks like. These are no-name bulbs in the fog lights. They're the uh, lights that actually came with the fog lights. And then in the headlights, they're Phillips something. 
uh, when I remove them we'll take a look at them to see what they are and they are several years old and they actually are very good and they have a nice color to them I hope it's showing up in the camera but uh, the light output is pretty darn good but it's nothing compared to what we're about to have when we go ahead and install those heads all right, so uninstalling the bulbs is really straightforward, and this is what was on the car. What are these called? Phillips? Uh, it doesn't say. Man, I'll do some digging to find out what these are. Um, but they're really good. I mean, I've had these on the car for five years, and they've been fine. And they give, as you guys can see in the video, they give a really good kind of color, and they're bright. And it's nothing like what we're about to install, but I mean, for a $20 set of bulbs, they did a really good job. So um, I'll put a link down in the description if you're interested in picking up a set of uh, you know regular replacement bulbs like this. Like I said, it's a good investment if you want to do it on the cheap and gives out good light output. But for now, we're installing these puppies. So this guy's gonna go in just like the others came out. It's hard for me to film this because of how dark it is and everything, but um, probably gonna need to use two hands. So anyway, let me get this guy in there. Okay, so you have to wrestle it a little bit. But you can see there, I got it seated. I got the spring locked around it. And you have to bend the spring a little bit because of the large end of the, uh, of the lamp. So, um, it's doable. You can do it. You just have to manhandle a little bit. So, got that one in. And to check your work, you can kind of look through the lens. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but you gotta make sure that that thing is flush with the back of the headlamp and also it's not angled weird or anything like that. And the best way to check that is by looking through the lens itself. So we're good here on the passenger side. Let's go over to the driver's side and see if we can get that guy in there. All right, passenger side is in. That was super easy. I think it took maybe 60 seconds to install. And now we wanna install our dust boots here now if we just try to slide this on and put it on here it won't fit because of the large end of the actual light so what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to cut an x in it to make the rubber kind of be able to open up more so i could slide this on and then slide this hole around the back of the uh the light itself all right got the boot installed super easy the little x trick worked great and you can see over here on the passenger side turned out good too. So the next step is let's go ahead and figure out how we can mount our ballasts. And it does come with a little mounting kit. These are the ballasts. This is the little kit that it comes with and the way it works is, it's not in the directions, but I'm assuming that we line that little hole there and then these two up here and we mount this to the little metal bracket and that will allow us to mount the bracket any which way we want with these holes here. So it does come with tiny little screws, which you guys saw almost came out of the box when I opened up the fog light, the fog light kit, but uh, let me go ahead and get these little screws on here and get this bracket situated so we can mount it. All right, we got these guys mounted up. Wasn't too bad. One thing to make note of is you see here how I have the bolts going through with the heads on the back side of the mount here. The reason for that is, is if we decide to mount this flat against something, we don't want all that extra length gouging into whatever we're mounting, whatever the mounting surface is. So you're gonna to wanna to mount these like this, and this little kind of metal backing plate gives us a lot of flexibility on how we wanna mount this. So, uh, so yeah, that wasn't too bad. I will say this, you are gonna want one of these. Uh, this is a number zero Phillips head. So I'm pretty sure I got a set of these off of Amazon. I'll put a link down below, but yeah, man, you're gonna want one of these most definitely. So the only mounting hardware we have left are kind of these little bolts and nuts. And now we can go ahead and get creative in the engine bay with how to mount these uh, ballasts. Back in the day, I used to just use double-sided tape, believe it or not, and it did a pretty good job, but over time, it would get loose and flop around. So we're going to do a much better install this time around. We're not young and dumb anymore. So let's do a good job with these and get creative, finding a good spot for this to sit, be safe, and, of course, everything reach our, uh, our actual headlights. So let me show you where I decided to put the ballast. 
I'm going to mount the ballast here. And you can see my little dot. I'm going to drill a little hole there and put a self-tapping little screw in to hold this guy in place. And then this long part, that will kind of be tucked away back there behind that piece. And it'll reach and come around. And then a short piece will go to our wiring harness. All right, guys, it took a minute, but we got a pretty darn clean install. I'm pretty happy with it. So we'll start over here on the passenger side, and you can see that I got the ballast mounted. I got all wires running behind the, uh, the um, engine support there. Everything's kind of tucked away. That's where the ground is. And the wiring, just as I said, I'm using zip ties, which isn't the best in the world. It's not the cleanest install, but... You know, two zip ties it really isn't that big of a deal. It's not that ugly. And the wire's tucked underneath this piece. It comes out here and makes its way to the harness, which I went ahead and zip tied to the little fuse box here. Now, again, this isn't maybe the best, cleanest thing in the world, but I do like that it's kind of by the fuses. That's where it really should be. And uh, it's just held on with zip ties, so I can easily maneuver it if I have to. And I didn't do any damage to the vehicle when mounting it. So I did the same thing with this ballast. I ran everything behind the engine support, tucked everything away underneath there, and uh, made my, my positive connection at the battery, at the uh, alternator terminal, and zip tied that wire. You can see the fuse right there, but I zip tied that wire all along here and tucked it around to there. And then the negative wire, I went ahead and snuck it up here and grounded it. So anyway, I think it turned out pretty awesome. Yes, it works. I double checked it again to make sure they come on. So it's getting late, but I'm going to keep pushing on. I want to get the fog lights done. So I guess we have to take the bumper off to do this. I don't know. We're going to find out. But I will tell you this. The fog light install is not nearly as complicated as the headlight install because we don't have an external wiring harness. So like I said, the fog light kit is much simpler. And this is actually how I remember these kits back in the day. Uh, I can see with the headlight installation, they've come a long way with uh, increasing increasing their wiring and their grounding and everything else. So I'm, I'm, I'm confident this kit is gonna last quite some time, which is pretty cool. So anyway, um, we're gonna have our 9005 bulb. Okay, this is a protective piece that goes around the lens. Um, so you take that off when you actually install it. Um, we got our ballast, we got our mounting brackets, just like the other one. And same for this side. So as you can see, it's much, much more straightforward. Um, we've got a little um, installation kit from Innovated and yeah what we're gonna do first is pull this bumper off so we have easy access to those fog lights so let me show you real quick where I decided to mount the ballast I used existing holes and I got that guy mounted there and on the other side I picked the exact same mounting spot so they're uniform and there he is and the kind of cool thing about this is with your bumper removed you have real easy access to the screw so you can easily get to it so pretty cool so those guys are mounted up go ahead and install the bulbs and yeah man we're gonna hook this up and see how it looks let's go ahead and see what we get do we have working fog lights no we don't have working fog lights all right we screwed something up let's see if we can figure out what it is all right guys let me show you what I screwed up here and I did it wrong on both sides because some cars have reverse polarity when it comes to lighting. So what you have to do is on this piece here, um, it's pretty distinct. It's got kind of um, yellow grooves. You can't see it right now because I flipped it, but you can see those two prongs right here. Now you would think that they clip over this tab here, and that's how initially how I had it set up, and nothing worked. So after reading the directions, it says first thing to do if your lights don't work is go ahead and flip this over so the prongs are on the back. So by, by doing that, you don't do any damage to anything. What you do is you wind up reversing the polarity. and uh, Or it comes with a reverse polarity and you wind up straightening it out. I don't know. But whatever it is, that's the fix. It's just common among HID setups. And yeah, it works great now. So I'm going to go ahead, put the bumper on, and then I'll give you guys a real good look on how everything looks when it's all buttoned up. Alright man, check out. I hope this thing is picking up the color. And I definitely need to lower my lights. They're too high right now. 
but the color is sick. I'm not gonna drive too far because I'm in a gated community and I don't feel like exiting and coming back and all that bit. But here's the road that I initially filmed on. This is a dark area right here. And check out how much it lights up, man. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Look how far we can see. Let's go ahead, get out of the car, see what she looks like. Oh yeah, dude. That is a heck of a difference from what we had last time, huh? <laughs> now you can't even look directly into it, it's so bright. <laughs> oh man, it's sick. I'm telling you what too, I'm surprised at how I'm surprised at how white the actual light output is for 6000K. Normally it's a little bit more blue, but uh, this definitely is a white kind of light when you're looking at the car. So I doubt I'll ever get any kind of, you know, police pulling me over and asking me what's going on with my headlights because it looks, the color of it looks great. But then when you actually see down the road, it is definitely has a blue tint to it. So. Pretty rad, man. Super happy with it. All right, guys, it's the following day and I wanted to go over real quick with you how you do adjust the headlights because it's super important that we're not driving down the road blinding everybody, which HID lights are known for. So uh, let me show you real quick how to adjust it. The adjustment piece is right here on each headlamp and it's Phillips head, so you can put a little stubby screwdriver in there. And if you tighten it, you wind up raising the beam up and if you loosen it, you lower the beam down. A couple quick things that I didn't go over early on, which I should have. Uh, number one, the light kits are $40 each on Amazon. I got a link down in the description. If you only want to get headlights, you can just get headlights. If you just want to get fog lights, you can get fog lights. 40 bucks a piece. This whole install was $80. Really good deal. So another thing I should point out is one of the reasons I went for the HIDs instead of the LEDs is I like the fact on HIDs I can change the components out. In other words, if a bulb burns out, I can just replace the bulb. If a ballast goes bad, I can just replace the ballast. With LED kits, you can't really do that. It's, it's the whole thing needs to be replaced. And it could be a little bit more expensive than replacing the components on an HID setup. So that was a big reason as well as the color differences. Um, this kit, once warmed up, as you guys saw in the video, is more of a kind of 4300 color. Um, and that's what an LED would come in. But if I want to change this down the road, I can go ahead and just get a different color bulb. I can go with 8000K um, <clears throat> or lower for fog lights. I can go with the 3000, 3000K kit, which would be much more yellow or gold. So anyway, happy with what I got right now. I still got to dial in the settings uh, a little bit more. But... Um, yeah, really cool. So hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Oh, and one more thing I want to show you before you go. Check this out. So next week's video is going to be awesome. We are going to paint the front bumper on the XB, the whole thing. This whole thing, and we're going to do it professionally over at Surratt Performance Garage. The guy who painted the Prelude is going to help us paint this bumper and we're gonna do a step-by-step -step process on how to do it but we're not gonna stop there this is the surprise that I have for you guys maybe it's not a surprise maybe you think it's stupid but check this out come on where are you at man we have power mirrors g2s got them off eBay and uh, man I think they're gonna look awesome once installed so you have that to look forward to next Tuesday. And, oh my God, how can I forget? A huge announcement. Huge announcement coming on Monday. So, stay tuned for that. Big channel change coming up Monday. So anyway, I'll see you then. And then Tuesday, we're painting the bumpers. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Later.